streaming. We are streaming again here today. I'm going to say streaming all sets 5k plus. I'm going to copy that. We are going to make a pro game. We're going to make sure we copied this. Create, boom, bam. Yeah. Okay. You are a 2000 or so. Uh huh. Person might jump into my game. No, no. Nope. Uh, there's a couple open splots. Um, and the council room isn't open, so they should be showing up here. That's a no. That's a no. And see, Eclipse did jump in. Okay. All right. So on this board, let's see, what do we notice? We notice that the only village that's available is tribute. So that's not really reliable as a village, particularly if your opponent isn't going for an engine as well. And you generally want to evaluate um, the non-mirror to figure out which strategy to play, and then assume that your opponent will probably play the same one as you, um, at least if it isn't close. You want to be able to beat all strategies. So if you don't win the non-mirror, then you're not good. Um, now, Apothecary and Scrying Pool engines uh, would each be plausible here, except I think which is going to throw a wrench in either of them fairly hard. So I think this is going to be some variant of Big Money Witch. Um, there is Alchemist later for like Apothecary into Alchemist, but I think this is going to be a little bit slow on the Witch. I really don't like Fortune Teller since Witch is, I'm pretty sure, the terminal you want anyway. The only trashing is Stone Mason, which isn't very good. Um, at trashing, it's actually quite bad at trashing. Uh, there's also farmland, but again, neither of these things is really good for, for helping you like keep an engine together. And while Scrying Pool or Alchemist can get there eventually, I'm pretty sure that money should just be the way to go. My settings got reset, so let's bump it back to fast. So my opponent is going for an engine. Um, I don't like the feast there, I think. Um, they get to Witch which is a little bit fortunate, um, but not crazily so. But they, they miss their presumably scrying pool, so that's not so terrible. Um, this should be a gold, I think. Um, uh, let's see, are they going to go for alchemist, apothecary, or scrying pool here? Possibly double uh, scrying pool or something with a stonemason. No, just a single scrying pool. Okay, uh, gold here, and my witch is going to miss a shuffle. It's going to get flipped over by the fortune teller, um, which I don't know how much that hurt me. Probably not a ton. Going for a second witch. Okay. Um, here I could farm land, but I don't really see much point. Tribute is not very good against curses. Um, although I'm well behind on the cursing front, and my witch gets skipped again. Um, I don't think this is good in general. Um, there is a question of whether I want another gold or another witch. See, my opponent has two witches. Let's see what he does here. Just a scrying pool. Uh, I think I'm going to continue to get a gold because at some point I can always get the witch later in the shuffle, right? I can always get the witch later in the shuffle. I can always get the witch later in the shuffle. Um, well, that might not be true now, but I am just going to take this. And yeah, I'll get my second witch here. 
Um, it isn't in the same shuffle, and man, I missed that witch again. So I'm getting creamed pretty badly on, on curses, but uh, I still don't think I'm in terrible shape. Um, now an overpay for more tributes, perhaps? I'm not really sure what my opponent is trying to do. Um, I'm going to pick up a second witch, which is fine for big money. Um, I really think my opponent is terribly over-terminaled. Um, although that, that was nice. Uh, well, except probably, let's go with a she based on this, has uh, a lot of actions in these hands and is not playing them because of the tributes. So they're actually hit a witch. Um, perhaps he's, she, he or she is going for using the scrying pool to set up actions on my deck and then tributing them, but that seems pretty sketchy to me. Um, it's possible that it's good, but it, it just sort of seems sketchy. Again, this is four money, only five, because lots of actions, and it's very difficult for... Yeah, so so Spy tends to play with with this plant. Um, but it's very difficult to try to, to get things going. Um, I'm not sure what I want here. I don't really think I want another action. I guess I could get Witch number three. Um, that does make his tributes potentially better. The other option I have is, like, silver. Um, I don't think tribute is worth it, especially since it's in his deck liable to give me actions. Yeah, it's definitely not. could also get a duchy, but based on my opponent seeming to play for more of a long game, I think I need to not green quite yet. Let's get another witch. This might give me some, some chances in the curse department as well. Hits two coppers. I think those were coppers, yeah. So that's pretty good for me. Seven is just pretty comfortable. Another gold. Um, it's really not time in this case. I think you have to discard that potion. Yeah, did discard the potion, which means no scrying pool this uh, go round. Um, I'm about to give my third curse here. I have received five already. Uh, I believe that's correct. Um, so I am losing this curse split, which sucks, but eh, what do you do? Um, yeah, skipping the gold, obviously. Probably skipping... No, keeping the estate. See, I was expecting a skipped estate because she's going to have tribute that she's going to want to use for actions. Yeah, here it's just two cards and the, the curse isn't good. So uh, Fortune Teller is really not good in that kind of deck because you don't want the, the green on my deck. Um, again, I could farmland into another estate here, uh, and that's the worth the most points, but not sure that it's really best. Um, I think I just want gold. Getting a... I don't know which of these you would want, though. I think it's just still more gold, more building at this point, and probably greening next shuffle. This is pretty slow, weak game, um, and the, the spy effect, spy attack effects, spy effect, spy attack effects is correct. Yeah, that's the right word. Um, are really not doing uh, doing me very good. Um, on exactly five, and let's see, I lose the curse split three seven. I think it's, I think I want a duchy here. Um, I don't think I want a farmland yet. Let's get another gold. And you should probably, so you're going to make me keep that. That was a weird sound just outside my door. Um, and you're able to hit an action anyway, even off that copper. So that's sort of vexing. And another gold goes down. Um, tribute again. Okay. Well, six. 
Farm landing, farmland in a province. Yep. Okay, one last gold. And now I'm I'm like all green. So this is gonna be farmland curse into a state. See again, leaving the curse on top of my deck, generally the right play, but I, I guess he's he or she is not going for this tribute. Oh, I can make sure that I hit actions strategy. Um yeah. I mean, I still think I'm actually in fine shape here, even having lost this curse split so badly. This is probably going to be another scrying pool. Um, but I apothecary? But I definitely think that the strategy um, that I went for is a lot better, and that I shouldn't be getting this bad of luck uh, this often on um, on my with with the spy effects and particularly with the curse split. Um, I think I'm going to play this witch here. I think I want to speed up my shuffles because this is a lot of golds that I've seen go by now. Um, I don't think that I want to get a farmland into a, off a of gold there um, because again, I think if I'm losing, I'm losing long. I'm not losing short. Um, it's only one province for my opponent, so I'm, I'm not terribly worried. Silver down. And again, there's probably going to be a tribute here, but... Yeah. So, again, Scrying Pool, and again, not Stone Mason for Scrying Pool, which is interesting. Okay, now it's time to go Farmland. Um, I'm not too worried about being able to end the game, because I'm just going to gobble up too many points. Um, in fact, I think I buy a state here, although I'm not 100% sure on that. but I think racing for points is the best here. I'm going to buy farmland here for sure. It's just a question of whether... Uh, well, no, I guess if I get exactly eight, I'll, I'll get the province. Um, but if I get up to at least nine, I'm going to farmland gold into province. Otherwise, I'll be farmlanding curse into estate, um, which is actually something to potentially watch for anyway. Curses, estates, and farmlands running out. Um, I mean, my opponent gets to do all this stuff, but in the end, just doesn't have much going on for him or her. Um, again, another province here. And again, here we're looking for hopefully at least one to pick off farmland into a state. Um, but I have enough points that I should just be totally fine no matter what, basically. And this is two estates, yeah. So that's going to also be three pile ending problems. Um, just just five. I'm just going to get a duchy. Just continuing to make it uh, difficult for my opponent. Um, this is undoubtedly going to be seven. I'm just going to get a duchy here. Um, is this ending the game? Yeah, so just ending it. Um, and I think the, the thing that I said before the game started about tribute, really, you can see it panned out here. Um, if, if that tribute would have been able to consistently give my opponent actions, it would have been in a fine spot. But as it is, it just ended up being a pretty weak terminal, especially against the curses. Um, but um, the other thing is, like, even in, in, in straight money decks, it's okay, right? Like... Uh, two cards. If, if you don't hit the same card, you get either four coins or two cards and two coins or four cards, which is really excellent. Um, of course, the curses hurt that, and your possibility of hitting like copper copper or a state of state hurts that somewhat. But that's pretty excellent for big money. Um, but the issue is you're getting... Well, one of the issues is the, the curses that 
that Sea Eclipse kept hitting here. But another issue is that you're getting draw cards and coins, and you have a lot of actions in your deck. So you just you can't play them. Um, so you end up with a lot of dead cards, um, both for my curses and your actions that you can't play, and that's pretty crippling. Um, so there you have it. Not the most spectacular and fun game, but, uh, well, a game. Let's go on to the next one. Utni, Utni. I think that's a fun name to say. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, no comments on the stream. Checking that between games. So I can't see if you guys are trying to give me advice, which I think is only fair. But I also um, would like to have some, you know, chat and interaction with you guys, if you would like. Uh, I would like that. Um, so after the game, I can I can pick up on things. There is, I think, about a 30-second delay anyway. Um, I don't I don't have the audio on on my uh, stream, so I can't hear myself talking because after a while that starts to make you go insane. But um, so I haven't checked how big the, the delay or the lag is right now, but, um, well, yeah, it exists, I'm sure. Um, okay. If this will ever pop up, Mirror Man. And, ooh, two games in a row we actually got into. Well done, Goko, well done. Um... Okay, so this is Border Village. That's interesting. Um, young Witch is powerful. Hermit counters it. Um, money Lender. Cultist is so good. Um, well, I'm pretty sure we want Hermit. And the question is what to pair it with, but we're just going to start with Hermit. Um, Double Hermit isn't crazy, but I think I'd prefer to not do that. Let's go Hermit Moneylender, try to get our engine up. Here we're going to... <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to play this Moneylender. Um, I guess we'll get a village. Um... Yeah, Cultist would be very nice. I'm going to go ahead and get Young Witch. Um, I guess we'll buy a Copper here. Turning a State into Copper is, I think, a plus play. Uh, Hermit. Maybe I should just, uh, yeah, do what he just did. I don't know. I, I tend to like to keep hold on to my hermits, but sort of tricky. I did not obviously have a very good first shuffle there, um, but this one's nice. Gonna get cultist. We don't want to lose this ruin split too badly. Um, fire off the madman here. Uh, I think that's the right call. I think it's generally the right call to fire it off just at the first opportune moment. Um, not 100% of the time, but usually. Um, this is going to be another cultist, a border village into a cultist. Yeah, got to remember the border village. Um, okay, madman, young witch. Uh, State and the cultist, probably. I think I'd rather play my other things more right now. A hermit to the trash of survivors. Gain another hermit. Money lend and border village into another cultist. And collision again. 
Ooh, triple collision. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I definitely don't want... Oh, that's a bad draw. I definitely don't want to be doing... Um, to be doing the silvers. Uh, I'd just rather build more of an engine. Um, Um, now I have the choice between Hermit to trash something, and I think that's the play I want to make, uh, rather than the Money Lender. Let's get the Hermit back. And Madman. Um, we're definitely going to have to watch out for piles. <laughs> um, wow, these are really getting chained together well. I guess my opponent's deck is fairly thin. Um, because of the lack of ability to do things off of my cultist here. I'm definitely going to just play the Hermit. I'm going to trash a... Survivors is not very useful. I want to gain another Hermit. And I'm going to get a Madman. Play the cultist? Yeah. Um. Hmm. I think I want to be building my engine a bit here. So. Village. Uh, village. Maybe Oasis. I do need a little bit of economy. Um, yeah, the cultist is pretty big. Um, I would have definitely preferred it to the young witch, but did not have that chance. My opponent is well trashed, and I'm very far behind. I think that was largely down to the first sort of little shuffle there. Um, you know, two curses down. Um, we do want to remember the trick of trashing cultists to gain cards at the right time. Eight, what is this going to be? Probably either province or border village. Just a gold, okay. Village, border village, cultist, oasis, down, moneylender, here, hermit, trashing, survivors, gaining the rest of the hermits. So that way I can turn both of these into madmen. Uh, maybe I just need one more, though. And survivors, and I'm going to need a payload at some point. Um, silver or Oasis? Silver, or I think Oasis at the moment. Um, so I'm not in the worst shape ever. We're going to play the Young Witch here. Um, Jester would not be bad as a payload. Get a seven hermits down, eight. I have at least one in my deck. Hmm, I can't remember. I think I have just the one. Yeah, I think he still has one. Um... Silver or Oasis? Um, I think it's time to start getting silver. It's a little bit hard to tell. Grave Robber is also a decent um, payload. Um, I'm 
but I'm, I'm running out of like money here. Yeah, so here's a hermit. He does have a hermit still. Um, there's a village. Six is going to be what? Border village and a grave robber? Jester, okay. Cultist. In which... Give that curse out. Border village into um yeah, I think Jester is actually just really nice. His deck's fairly thin. Um so I'm gonna like stealing most of the stuff from it. Uh yeah, Madman. Village. Village. Jester. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. This is exactly what I want. Um, I'm going to need more draw at some point, but... Um, also got to work. watch out for pile endings. Let's just get the Grave Robber now. Cultist. That's sort of fortunate. Border village. Down. Down. I don't think I need to play this madman, so I'm not going to. Moneylender here. Hermit trashing estate. Oh, I should have trashed the abandoned mine. That was stupid. Um, oases are more favorable than border villa other than silvers. Um. Yeah, because the cycling's just good. Play an abandoned mine. Get the province. Okay. Also got to watch out for the pile endings. Um, I feel like I'm ahead now, which I really ought not be. Um, okay, so hermits are down. Curses are down to these many. Uh, oasis down. This young witch... State this, that's pretty easy. Village, border village, village. Chester. I will obviously take that. Let's border village into and cultist is nice for draw. Um just something I'm sort of lacking in. And I think I can't quite play for the end game yet. Um, I'm gonna play Oasis first here, of course. And this is not so hot, but I think I'm gonna play this Madman anyway. Border Village, Cultist, Cultist, Village, Village. Chester, I will take that. Border village. And I should have kept the border villages in case I drew this grave robber. Oh, I'm going to be okay. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to permit to trash the abandoned mine while well, I still can. Get another oasis. Grave robber at this cultist gaining province. Province. And basically win. Um yeah, so I can probably run the curses out quite soon. for the third pile. Um, I probably should have been checking more stringently. I might have had a three pile ending. Um, this is, oh, well, that helps. This is a, obviously a province for my opponent. I have one curse. My opponent has there's five in the trash, that means six, eight, ten, two. 
but I have three provinces, which is pretty big. Um, oasis and silver, village, we grave robber the cultist, can always gain off the hermit or something, or buy it. So, hopefully draw something nice, province, oasis here, bada boom, gotta do this, yeah sure, whatever, hermit, trashing curse, gaining curse, and border village, duchy, yay! Yeah, so I, I didn't give up on my engine. Um, my opponent seemed to sort of flounder in the mid-game. I think the treasures were actually pretty significant mistakes. Um, also, Jester was much better in my hands than it was ever going to be in his, so that was nice for me and helping me to come back. But I think the, the too many treasures was a big deal, and I very consistently pushed my trashing and eventually got there. Um, I think that was really key. He never got up to province very quickly, somehow. Though it seemed like he should have because he was getting through so much of his deck. Um, and he also never used the trashing the the cultist trick. I guess he, he probably needed a second hermit at some point, yeah? And then some more villages maybe. Um, that would have helped him quite a bit. Okay. Still no comments. Lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Up to four viewers, whoa. Although, oh, down to three. One of them might be me. I am not sure. Catacombs? Is this just like a set built for catacombs? It is. Yes. Upgrade to do something with it. Nothing for it, the squire in it anyway. And these are people, not bots. Okay, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Bada boom. Uh -huh -huh. Yet a doom. Okay. Um, refresh. That's another browser window, by the way. Oh, we have a not a person. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, we get to this fun part of the day. The council room is full. Hey, that's a person. This is also a person. Impromptu to blue. It's probably some some pun or joke in there. Or I'm prompt. You blue water castle something over six thousand. It's over six thousand. Um. Okay, so we're playing with shelters, which makes Baron pretty bad. Um. There is no village, which makes poor house rabble. Almost everything else pretty bad. I guess that's how we want to put it. Um, horse traders is useful. Well, there's there's necropolis, but I just don't think you can really go based on that. So I think we have to play big money for colonies, which is gross. Um, we could.
could go for treasure maps. Um, huh. Treasure maps are going to be good here if you can get them to collide. Is that fast enough? And what do you open with it? I think ventures are obviously going to be pretty good. Is a trading post good? Mm, not sure. I mean, definitely it would be a good card, but the question is what terminals do you want to end up with? Catacombs is pretty nice in terms of big money. I think better than Ra yeah, definitely better than Ravel if you're not engining it up. So I think what we want to do is actually treasure map though. Try to get those to collide and then do something. So treasure map and then sage or silver. Um, I mean sage is going to be better in terms of getting your maps to collide. But I think silver is the better card to get because you, you need to be able to get to the second map as well. Um, your trading post is definitely a nice card to get. The question is, do you get it? Well, you probably get it on your first five, right? And then catacombs, and then ventures at the right moments, and probably almost never gold except via the treasure maps. Um, if this were a, a pro, uh, not a colony game, I would not be going for treasure map here. By the way, um, I also looked pretty pretty long and hard at horse traders, but I don't think that's likely to be super good. Um, okay, okay. So this is three. This is going to be a silver or sage, silver or sage. I also thought about getting a lighthouse as it's probably a little bit better for treasure map collision. Sage lighthouse. I don't understand that. I'm just going to get silver and well, I think I want to get the map over the trading post here, but gosh, I'm not sure. This is going to be another lighthouse. Um Okay, well, this is good. I'm going to get another silver here. There's a pretty good chance that my lap maps collide. The shuffle, which would be nice. And they didn't. Oh, this is going to be trading post, no questions about it. Now my maps are very unlikely to collide for quite a long time. Because I've got one here, and yeah. Okay, what do we do now? Um, trading post will, or Sage will increasingly be a bad option. So he's really going hard for colliding the maps quickly, which, I don't know, might be good. It's really hard, it's really hard to say. It's such a weak board. I'm probably going to get map number three here. Try to use that to collide them instead of having it just be all nice and perfect. I mean, you can always trash the second one here. You could even get map number four and... Really? Sort of why not? Mm. It's better than the Sage plan, I'm pretty sure. Less sure that it's better than getting a Silver. Um, I'm going to have three maps. It's pretty likely they collide. Two of them collide, that is. Um, let's just get the fourth one. I'm pretty sure I'm in very good shape if I do that. Might also get lucky and collide like both sets. That'd be super sweet. Um, yeah, we're just going to get a silver with it here. And we're going to buy platinum, I think. Um, is that right? Yeah, I think a platinum. It's a little bit tough. Uh, okay, we're just going to go ahead and trash this map here. Um, there really isn't another terminal that I... Yeah, there is. I've got Trading Post. I would want Catacombs. Um, 
and because of the silvers that my opponent's getting from the trading post, the sages aren't just like as good as maps in terms of getting them to collide, which is sort of the idea behind getting sage, right? I really don't understand the lighthouse opening with it, though. Like, shouldn't you go map? Anyway. Um, okay, so this is going to be trashing the necropolis and the copper and buying a venture. Um, or should it be a catacombs? Perhaps it should be a catacombs. Um, yeah, let's make it a catacombs. Okay, now we're going to get ventures, though, because, I mean, I already have some actions. I've got the trading post and the catacombs. This map is gone, but ventures is also just, like, a really nice card. Yeah, so this is going to be sweet. Um, Thirteen. Is he going to go for province or platinum? It is. Okay, so I'm just a little bit ahead. Um, part of that is obviously due to my quicker collision, but... And I get to trash my hovel here naturally. That's pretty pretty tight. Um, at this point, I think I would get a second catacombs over venture or anything. Um, and then go back to ventures. Venture is just definitely better than gold at this point. I don't have that many coppers. I have a couple platinums, and I have a lot of golds along with several silvers. Um, and it and I have other ventures they can chain and stuff. So, uh, colony, trash and cobble. Um, yeah, I should play this catacombs. This is probably colony. Yep. That's good enough. Colony. And here's going to be colony number three. And actually, probably getting my trading post with coppers, which would be super nice. Uh, or maybe skipping over it with the venture. Um, so I have three colonies. Definitely, there's no more platinums in our future. It's province. Um, yeah, we're not going to play this trading post either, because I might want the money. Uh, Short-term benefits are definitely outweighing the long-term implications at this point, and I am only up by six points. Okay, end actions. We'll play this venture. We're going to... Skip that. That's no fun. But, and eh, colony. Okay, so this is going to be a province. I obviously just have to scrap up an estate here, which sucks, except it gives me a one-point lead if he gets colony, so he can't get colony. So I'm actually just totally fine. I just need to be able to match whatever he does here or get the last colony first, which I can do and win. Um... Yeah, so I think my deck was a little bit better, um, partially because of the silvers, partially because I hit the maps earlier. Um, hitting the maps earlier was big for me, especially after the sage thing, so um, I think it was right to invest in the fourth map because uh, I had a significant enough advantage at that point that it was really just about getting my maps to collide not too long after his. Um, and I'm pretty sure map was the way to go here, though I'm not 100% on that. It might have just been better to go for trading post into catacombs or maybe you just flat up catacombs. Uh, rabble wasn't doing anything because you only have the necropolis and playing two rabbles just isn't that big of a game, especially because catacombs is a nice anti-rabble. Anyway, um, thanks for watching this one. You know, the boring big money boards. Not always boring. And again, if it wasn't a colony board, it would not have gone treasure maps for sure. I'm also not 100% sure that there it was correct to get uh, um, that it was correct to get the second map before trading post, but I think it was at least for the strategy I was playing. Okay, who's this? Hanny's B. I don't know who Hanny is or why they have a B, but okay. Um, hmm. Well, it's a colony board, which makes me think that IgG is not going to be much good. Torturer, 
probably likewise. Although Butcher is really nice. Um, with Hunting Party and a Nomad Camp. Well, I'm pretty sure I want Butcher to be my first five. The question is whether I try to strike it rich with a Nomad Camp here. And... Uh, um, again, there's no village, so there's no real engine here except the Hunting Party engine, which should be good. Um, nomad Camp, Nomad Camp. Where for art thou, Nomad Camp? Let's do it. I can also butcher it later, so that's fine. Ooh, five, and ooh, Torturer. Fancy schnikes. Um, I don't think Torturer is that great. I can choose to discard or pretty liberally take the curses. Um, butcher them away, and the extra coppers aren't going to hurt me too badly in a Hunting Party deck. Okay. Silver. We're going to skip gold here. That's fine. I just want Hunting Party anyway. You're going to go for gold. Okay, yeah, that's got to be a bad strategy on a colony board, yeah? Hunting party, please. Again, I could discard here without problem. Um, and my first collision, I am going to butcher the Nomad Camp into a grand market. Will be the plan here. Do we take it? Yeah, I think we take it, because we want to be able to get a hunting party, so we're just going to go ahead and butcher a curse into a copper, play our treasures, use one token, get a hunting party, roll on. Here we would discard two estates pretty happily. Okay, but instead we're just going to get another hunting party. Here we're going to take a curse, um, which sort of sucks. I don't really want to do that, but Butcher, okay. Now, I think we turn the Nomad Camp in. Pretty sure that's what we want to do, rather than getting rid of this curse just yet. Okay. Using two tokens. Playing the treasures. Five is another hunting party, okay. So deck's fine. Obviously, we will be discarding states here, if that's the option open to us. Another hunting party, fine, fine. Uh, this is not a very good hand. Silver, yeah. I think you want more silvers here. I'm not 100% on that. Um, okay, good. Didn't get attacked, so this is quite nice. Hunting parties will do their thing. Grand market. Butcher. Um, so we could do a number of things here, but I think I want to start getting rid of my estates. Now, I could use both these tokens to get uh, another grand market, but I think at this point I'd rather just get my hunting parties down. And we accept a curse here. Yeah. Another grand market. We will have to watch out for three pile endings. That is something we will have to do. Give me a grand market. Yeah. Hunting party, please. Hunting party, please. Chancellor effect. Butcher a curse into a copper. Play these guys, get another grand market, or I could get two hunting parties, which I think I like a little bit better. Yeah, here we obviously discard two coppers and just buy ourselves a grand market. Eleven, I expect to be grand market hunting party. Yeah, that's fine. Grand market. Okay, so this is a pile. Well, this is a pile. This is going to be a pile. Oh, do I gain the curse? Uh, 
Uh, I think I probably should. I mean, it's got to be a little bit dangerous at some point, but. Grand Market Hunting Party. Hunting Party. Grand Market Hunting Party. Okay, now I could keep doing the thing with the curses rather than the estates. Not 100% on that. I could actually turn estate into grand market here. Ten. If I spend two, I can get two more grand markets. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. So curse into copper it is. Treasures. Ten be 14. It's not that good. Um, I'd kind of like to get one IgG just to give him a curse to screw up his grin. Uh, but then uh, I can butcher it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, so I think I play all these. Not real worried about getting so many grand markets. We do this. We end our turn. We accept a curse, 5, 7, 9, 11, and buy a colony. He's double grand of marketing, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and grab ourselves up a colony. Points are good. We accept a curse here, and we sort of threaten to end the game if he's not careful. Okay, so he gets platinum. Okay, so we play two six. We have three buys. Uh, six is seven. Uh, we can't end it. Um, so I think we just want to get this colony then. Yeah. The, there's no way to to empty the curses to end it. So. Okay. Okay. Nothing. Colony, please, and turn. Butcher is my next card up. I will happily accept a curse. He's almost certainly playing here. A torture, apparently not. Okay, 13. Will he get a grand market, which I think would be a real bad move? No. Okay, he's going for colony, and what? Silver, nothing. It's either silver or nothing, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you could get a couple of estates, I suppose. Um, probably turn my IgG into a grand market. Although it is sort of tempting to be able to IgG into IgG to give him a curse. If he gets a smithy, I don't like that. Not with the actions he has in his deck. Grand market, hunting party. I'm going to continue to be on the lookout for forced wins. I think I have one, don't I? Can butcher the IgG into IgG, and then, or probably into Grand Market, so I can play all these coppers, right? Um, well, I have three buys, um, which means that no, I do not have a forced win. Okay, so let's butcher the IgG into an IgG, you know, into a grand market, because it's better for my deck, and then just get some colonies. Fifteen, I can get to twenty-one. Let's not do that. Let's get colony and silver. And I have three colonies to one, which is good. Surely you've got to have this torturer soon. Yes, okay. But we're obviously accepting the curse here. Um, my opponent has one curse. I have, there's three in the trash, which means I have, actually I only have two. Huh. 
Okay. Um, buying estates. Okay. Don't like seeing all those get missed, but what do you do? Okay, play treasures, obviously. 10, 2 IGGs doesn't do it. So we just go ahead and get a, a colony. Um, do we lose to double colony then? We're up a colony, we'd be up two colonies. I think we lose to double colony, but I don't think my opponent can do that. What did he play last turn? Bought a couple of estates, but he had his torturer, three grand markets. He's going to have hunting parties coming up. He's going to have hunting parties coming up. Okay, what's in this trash here? So he has three more estates than me. I have two curses. He has one curse. Oh, he has one curse. That's five, eight. Yeah, I have two. So that's five points there. So colony and province, but I can't do that. Um, oh, it's only four points. Um, what else? What are my other options? I can... If I don't get a colony... Um, if I do get a colony, then if he double colonies, I lose. How likely is he to be able to do that? He needs to play... Um... I think I get province and estate. It's just the safest. And I can butcher things. But here, yeah. Because here it's going to have to still be two colonies. Yeah, like seriously, you didn't need that much better of a hand. You have a platinum and then two colonies and you win. Now, I should be able to, ooh, um, so he gets colony and duchy, so I can turn this platinum into, get another province, I can, oh, no, no, I can trash the colony with the colony and then buy the last colony, and I'm up. Yeah. Like, it wasn't ridiculous for me to think that he still had chances of winning. Um, so I'm not going to pile down the curses that fast. It was going to be a, a, an option if he was ever cursing me too much. Um, but you you got to maintain. I had such a big lead, I just like had to make sure I had an iron grip. Um, yeah, buying a, a province into... Uh, I mean, if I'm going to do that... I mean, it's, it's likely still fine, right? Um, but it, it just opens me up because, like, there I could gain the last two curses. I could have, but then I would have gotten no more points. So I would have had province and two curses instead of... Two curses instead of an estate, so that's three fewer points. Then two more curses, that's five fewer points. And I only won by 10, so if he was even able to get to... Well, he would have needed the colony, I guess. Yeah. But, again, his deck was capable of that. Platinum was there in his deck yet, so... Meh. And if he had a better... He could have even had a better draw than that, you know? So, anyway. Um...
The later silvers in the hunting party game look bad, especially the one with the colony. Well, they do make you draw fewer um, hunting parties, so there is a consideration to not getting them, but I kind of like getting them because you can draw them still off your hunting parties and having more money is good. I might be wrong about that. It might be better to not get them at some point, but I'm not sure when that point is if ever. Um, so yeah, you, you might well be right about that. Um, but they don't hurt you uh, that much, at least. I, I mean, I, I don't think that it matters very much either way. Okay. Playing another one with this guy. Um, Hunting party, city, bazaar, goons. Oh my gosh. Um, do we want to try to do the urchin mercenary thing? I don't really think so. Well, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we do. That way we can skip hunting parties. So, also the attack makes it unlikely that, makes it less likely that they'll do super great super early. So you're either going to probably collide or stop them from doing what they want to. I think you go bizarre here over city. Although you do expect piles to run, I don't think it happens fast enough for you to uh, for you to go city first. Especially because you need to be getting other cards. Um, and bizarre is so much better for your economy at the beginning than city. Uh, I guess you could also think about hunting party or grave robber or something, but again, I, I don't think so. Um, hunting party, I... Mm, so it's 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 sort of tricky. I'm not sure. You could either go for bazaars and hunting parties and sort of skip the cities, or you could go for them. Um, okay, urchin and a miss. I think I get another urchin here. Um, yeah, and a silver. Um, although there's some thought to getting ironworks, sages aren't bad at all. Um, but let's get the silver. Certainly don't want more than three urchins. Uh, two silver should be fine. Be a little bit careful about getting too many. And wow, okay, so these urchins are all missing, missing. Okay, finally, good. This is good. We gotta trash this. We also get to six. Um Bizarre goons. Bizarre or goons. Let us get a bazaar. Which is pretty bizarre, but you know, eh, jokes. Um, hunting party, hunting party. No, another bazaar. Um, it's probably the last bazaar I want. I'm not 100% on that. Um, yeah, you gotta get the goons. It'll help your urchin. Um, hunting party. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. No attack. No attack. Dang it. Um, we're going to hope to draw a bad card off this urchin. Or draw a bizarre and then play the bad card off the urchin. Or off of that. Um, do I want to get rid of the second one? Yeah, why not? I don't want to get rid of the third one. But the second one seems fine. Um, yeah, piles aren't really running, so more bazaars, please. Um, I don't need a lot of draw, a la Hunting Party. So, yeah, here we get four. Four is going to be Ironworks. Ironworks? And eh, maybe it's just silver. Huh? Yeah, Sages are sort of nice, but with the Hunting Parties, mm, Ironworks doesn't really do you much. It's another different card. Let's just go for silver. Okay. Um, obviously discarding a copper here. 
obviously discarding another copper here. And I th think I play this bazaar first. Awesome! It's entirely a sarcastic comment, by the way. Um, but I do at least have my goons now. Um, I think I discard silver and copper here, because I should draw a bad card. I don't ha or a cantrip. Yeah, I don't I don't have any non-bad cards on our can well, naturally. There's that. Um uh, another hunting party. I need the hand size, I guess, if he's gonna be hand size attacking me so much. <sighs> lovely, lovely. This is not really good. Um Goons, please. Okay. Copper, of course. And... Yeah, it's got to be this. We're going to play the Urchin first. It's the last one in our deck. Um, he has a lot of goons. Bizarre. Double goons, please. Done. Uh, ooh, probably should trash this. Yes, yes, yes. Because... Because... Um, and you got to look at getting extra coppers, right? Um, if you have the extra mercenaries, trash them. Anyway. Um, hmm. Silver, even a card I want anymore. Not really. I guess I can trash it off the mercenary, but I'm not. I'm not that thin yet. Okay, we're discarding copper and silver here. He's got a significant lead in points. Um, he should get a bazaar here for sure. I'd rather have goons. Goons, goons, treasures, uh, two buys. Okay, let's get a hunting party and a bazaar and a copper. Um, yeah, so the great thing is, is with all these extra cards, the menagerie is not too bad. Uh, coppers, I think, is the right call. You should probably play this mercenary um, just to trash, I think. Yeah. And I somehow have a lead? How did that happen? Goons, seven. Seven is not an amount that I would like to have. Um, let's get this goons. Not really worried about cities since he doesn't have any. Um, Let's play this bazaar first, because I'd rather draw bazaar than goons at the moment. Okay, that's fine. Well, now I can hunting party bazaar. Yes, bazaar goons hunting party mercenary goons. 14. Okay. Bazaar. City. Silver. Goons and copper, or goons and silver obviously going down because I. We want to keep up the card draw at this point. Um, probably should have thought about getting a hunting party in that case, but oh well. Um, so we have a lot more chips than him, although he's going to close that gap soon. If he gets the last goons and then cities become active, he probably ought to do that anyway. Is he going to get the copper? He doesn't have as many uh, mercenaries as I do. Okay, seven. Mm -hmm. Well, I can either copy his um, city 
plan so that I'm not too behind if the pile does run out, or I can go for more draw. I think I want to copy the city plan. And then estate or copper here. Um, estate gives me a point, or I could get neither. Um, but I actually think I want to get the estate, partially for piles, partially for points, and partially because... Um, Let's see, what do I want to discard here? I think I discard the goons and the silver because I want to keep up my draw. Um, partially because uh, well, partially for piles, partially for points, partially because um, if I draw, I can draw it as a different card off the hunting parties and uh, it helps the, the, the piles. Um, or it helps, how do I, what am I trying to say here? Yeah, like I can draw it here, or I can draw, yeah, exactly, I can draw it here and trash it with this mercenary. That's what I'm trying to say. Goons, goons, goons. Uh, I don't think I want to trash this. 15 is not enough to really do anything super meaningful. So, uh, but it's better yet. Um, okay. So, I can get a city, a bazaar, and a hunting party. And a copper. I'm definitely getting a copper. Well, pretty definitely getting a copper. One, two, three. Yeah, I can't really attack the urchins favorably. So I think I go city, bizarre hunting party. Or I could go like city, city, city. Which is pretty good for me. Um, now let's keep it more spread out. Copper. Obviously, again, chunking these silvers here. So every other card in my deck is just more important. He's got a mercenary. I thought he would have mercenaried, but if he's going to do that, he should do it before he... Oh, he only had the copper. My bad. So we just wanted to trash the copper there. Um... Got to try to maneuver to get um, points at the right time. Goons, goons, goons. Or piles to run out at the correct time. Uh, I think city, city. That way if he runs out of pile, I'll definitely be able to the turn after. So city, city. Copper, copper. So I leave the mercenaries down here, I think. Um, possibly I could do a mercenary and a goons. That's probably better. So, okay. Um, he has three goons in play here. Yowzas. Um, but I've had three goons in play a number of times, so I'm not too worried. Um, he still has an estate. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so oh, he just goes for a province. Okay. Well, that does leave him as not behind, so I guess that makes some sense. Oh, shoot, I should have played the goons first. Dang it. Nineteen. Six, five. Uh, doesn't do it. So I don't want to run those piles out. 
Um, so I can get provinces here. Probably want to get at least a province. And then a bazaar and a hunting party. And a copper. I just look to be able to end the game. So, okay, he's probably not emptying a pile. So we want to do this. But I'm in the I mean I'm in the driver's seat no matter what he does. If he if he empties a pile, I'm pretty golden. If he doesn't, I'm still pretty good. Oh, we can't even? Oh my gosh. He should probably go with state as state. Ew, it's just a tough spot. Um, I think I play all my draw cards here first. I'm not 100% that I want to do that before the hunting parties, but I think I do. Yeah, he goes for the estates. Hunting party... Hunting party, hunting party, oh well, I at least have this mercenary now, so goons, we mercenary, the copper and the mercenary, the second mercenary is doing very little for me now. Copper and mercenary, okay, bizarre, bizarre. Goons first, please, of course. Goons. Goons. 20 is plenty for 555. 555-555. So that was a, a tour de force of pile control. Pile control. Um, I don't think I had as many goons as him, but that doesn't really matter. You know, you want to be able to play a lot, um, so you got to get your engine drawing. Um, the first goons is big because it hits them with a discard attack, although there are other discard attacks around. Um, and then you just you want to be able to play goons every turn and play as many. And then once you're being able to get through your whole deck, play as many goons every turn as possible. And then messing around some with the cities so that he wasn't going to have a chance of if I hit a dud hand or something. Although it was almost not possible for me to actually hit a dud hand, but uh, don't want to give him a chance that if he if I hit a dud hand or something, he has a big city turn and comes back and wins. Um, this was especially plausible considering his extra goons. I think he should have actually gone for last goons at some point with that in mind. Um, yeah, I always maintained like city parity with him, but I was actually drawing most of my deck anyway, and. Um, Um, I was drawing most of my deck anyway, and he needed to get lucky at that point. Um, I, I do like the the urchin opening there, just because being able to trash the estates and the coppers, particularly the estates, actually helps a lot. And actually, the, the coppers, because at the end there, right, you can trash the extra coppers you buy off extra goons for a lot of extra points. Um... Okay, let's move on. We're in courtyard against I don't want to look at that. I want to look at this. She can't say no. <sighs> okay. Um Silk Road, I love you, but you're probably not the thing to do here. Ooh. Well, there's scrying pool engines. Hermit's typically a very good card, but it doesn't really help the Silk Road rush like I always want it to. Um, there actually isn't really a great payload for an engine, but I think you're going to go engine anyway, um, just because it's really, really there. Um, pillages and... 
Well, what are you doing with your engine? Since the attacks aren't very... What, does this you take with five or more? Ah, yeah. So you can council room pillage like to your heart's content. Um, that's a combo for you. Let's do that. Um, so hermit, potion. I mean, hermit's going to be the, the card either way. So, but I th think what we want to do here is... Okay, first, obviously, we're trashing this. Uh, we get another Hermit. we eventually going to go big with Treasures, but before that, we need to gain up some actions and such. Um, second Hermit and a Silver or Hamlet. Hamlet looks better. I think a second Hermit, though. Hamlet's going to be important. Ooh, this missed the shuffle. That's no good. But we will be able to get a money lender, which is, I think, better than Spice Merchant here. Um, because we're going to want the cash. Oh, gro oh, no, no, no. Okay, this is good. This is fine. I thought it was a hermit at first, and I was like, gross. One potion is never fun. Uh, okay, scrying pool. Hamlet. Hermit trashing this, gaining another one of these. Gaining uh, another one of these. Yeah, for a while, we're just going to gain the Hamlets, because um, we're going to want to be able to have as many plus actions as we want. And also because, well, once we have all that, we're drawing our deck, we can get the silvers pretty quickly later anyway. Done, 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 Moneyland, Hermit, Hamlet, Silver, let's go. Okay, so this is going to be fine. Um, do we play the Hamlet first? No, I think because we're liable to want to play the Hamlet for actions, we don't do that first. Discard, discard, okay. Done, done, hermit. Trashing this guy, gaining this, gaining a scrying pool. Okay, so, but now, now I can definitely get the, I want council room. I think I want a council room next, okay. Done. Done. Copper done. Moneyland here. Get a silver. Buy a council room. Uh, the Hamlet's work is, or the Hermit's, Hermit's work is largely done. Um, so I won't mind trashing them at this point, but not over like a five or a scrying pool, of course. Um, we're going to go for Council Room and Pillage as our sort of payload. Um, my opponent might be thinking about getting Trade Route. No, just Silver and Scrying Pool and didn't get the Estate. Okay. Discard. Uh, put it back. Discard and put it back. Hamlet. Nope. Nope. That's a weird time to ask that. I don't know. Um, nope. Uh, shoot. One of the hermits goes down. The other hermit goes down. Scrying pool and the I think I want pillage already, yeah. Uh 
I uh, want to keep one Hermit around to trash my Money Lunder at some point, which will be a dead card. Although I guess I could always just, you know, buy a Copper back, so it won't be dead. Seriously? Um, okay. Pillage, take your pool. Get another pillage, please. Mm, I guess Spice Merchant would have been nice to be able to trash the potion. I could still pick one up, I guess. Now my opponent finally gets a treasure trasher. Discard. Discard. Back. Let's the spoils down. Done. Council room. Oh, I should have put the hermit down. Oh well. Put back. And discard. Um, okay, we pillage now. Um, now we Hamlet again. The reason why we pillaged at that point was so that we'd be more likely to um, be able to Um, okay, this is going to be 3, 5, 8, 11. Uh, I would like to get a scrying pool and a pillage. I don't need a third buy for that. Um, okay. But I also don't want to get anything off this hermit. So, um, well, this is suboptimal. Um, probably going to get a spice merchant here. You let me keep the money lender? That seems very strange. If I have a scrying pool at all. Well, obviously, if the scrying pool's here, I'm going to get that instead. But I didn't expect it to be, so. Um, is it really worth. I don't think it is. Let's just get the pillage. I can always get it later, I guess. Um, Actually, not discarding anything is pretty surprising. Hermit is okay. Um, yeah, so we're in this wacky part of the game now. Um, two piles are gone, but there's not really a threat on the on a third. Um, The Hermit's probably going to gain an estate at some point, gaining another Hermit. Okay. Not really sure what the goal is. Uh, possibly running the game out. How many? How many? No, all these states are trashed.
I mean, you can do this thing where you hermit to gain a hermit, draw it, hermit to gain a hermit, draw it, hermit to gain a hermit, draw it, and then on the last one, get an estate or something. Gotta watch out for that as a way to end the game. In fact, it might be what I try to do on my turn. I don't think my opponent's really in good position to do it here, though. You also have to get the estate there, right? So, um, It's definitely greening time, <laughs> because the hermits can run, and big turns are about to happen. Um, we also got to check who went first here. Uh, I did. OK. So I, I really do need the point. Gaining another hermit. Wow, this is actually really dangerous. Because I don't, I don't think you can end it. I don't think my opponent can end it. And now I'm going to have like excellent chances. I think I put toss the money lender aside. I have trashed almost all of my. I think I have just the one copper left, and I've already seen it this shuffle. Um, my opponent has a lot. Um, I guess it is possible that my. I'm definitely playing Hamlet, um, tossing the money lender, playing council room, and then we're going to see what happens. Uh, my opponent has enough money to province here. Um, pretty hopeful that he won't, um, because I think the may really be going for this lots of madmen. Not really sure why you get so many hermits. Okay, well, there's a... Yeah, okay, so there's some points. Yeah, hmm. Discard that. Okay. Hamlet. Um, I think we're going to try to do this, right? Um, Hamlet. Son. Pack, discard. Okay, so the potion needs to go down. No, the money lender needs to go down. No, a pillage needs to go down. Done. And I didn't get there. OK. So I want to play probably none of these hermits. The pillage, the money lender. So I can pluck that. That's very nice. Um, And five, eight. So I think I gain a state here. Could get a trade route. Um. Gain the estate and the province to not fall too far behind. And we know this is a dud hand for my opponent. That is very nice. Um, Do we remember what was in it other than the pools, or the, the no pools? 
copper copper estate hermit trade route. Wait, what did he just do? Hermit gaining estate and getting a madman. Okay. Okay, so probably I'm, it's easier for me to pile drive the estates. Estate, province, council room. Scry. Okay, so I have two hermits. I'm going to have a decent amount of money. State done. I only need to play three actions. So, done, done, pillage, take a pool, it doesn't matter. And hermit for... I mean, I could actually also get the hermits, right? I get a hermit here, I get another hermit, I get two more hermits, and I have some money. Or I get estate, estate, I buy three estates and have some money. Um, this is just more points. So, um, um, yeah, I think I need to quit. I, I haven't eaten supper yet, and my body's starting to tell me that I'm getting running on adrenaline. So we're going to go do that. Um, might stream some more tomorrow or Sunday or something. But we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching, and in your comments on the video, I really ought to say this at the beginning, but in your comments, please, um, please uh, leave timestamps so I know what game you're talking about. Um, oh, I should give my final thoughts on the last game. Um, I'm not sure whether it was incorrect for my opponent to uh, gain the Hermits to give me the chance like that. Otherwise, I was obviously going to have the chance to start, my, my eventual plan was to start chaining, getting enough pillages and things going that I can either like double pillage, and I'm going to have to watch out for the pillage pile running, maybe getting gold or something at some point. But anyway, you know, province and pillage or something like that. Um, of course, the big advantage that I had was that I had trashed almost all my treasures, or almost all my coppers already, and he was just starting to get there. So um, it was nice to be able to. Um, it was nice to be able to um, take advantage of my advantage since it's a temporary advantage. <clears throat> His spice merchant is is going to catch up for him, um, but the money lender is just quicker off the bat and getting the council room and the pillage. Um, I, I mean, the really cool thing would be able to. Uh, council room, then play pillage, then play a second pillage. That's like really stripping their hand down. Um, and pillage is also good against the deck that my opponent had if I could strip away all the scrying pools or enough of them that it slowed down the draw, which is pretty important. But um, I, I like how I played, but I don't think 
it should be a lopsided victory for me at all. Um, I think it's a slight advantage maybe on what my opponent did, but I'm not even sure. It, it's possible that his plan is better still. Anyway, thanks for watching, and um, please leave comments, and uh, see you guys later.